Hello class, this is John Hurl. I am doing my final presentation on how to be a successful leader and manager. Slide two, outline. I will be discussing developing a working relationship, identifying areas of growth, not problems, adjustment, observe your staff, set boundaries, addressing staff concerns, dealing with conflict, budget, find slash develop middle managers, and be a change agent. Developing a working relationship. Being a new manager for any new job can be difficult. Knowing this, one must approach their new role tactfully and with positive attentions. Sometimes one wrong word can either set you up for failure, so be careful on your word choices when building these new relationships. It will be important when introducing yourself and to explain your goals. Do so by enforcing, do so by focusing on their current strengths rather than weaknesses. Finding common interests and or similarities will build rapport with your new staff. We know you will be very busy in your new role, but taking time to do this will go a long way. You may also be bombarded with new issues or problems that may have not been dealt with from the last leadership. Rather than presenting solutions right away, offer empathy so you can address these problems after some thought. Identifying areas of growth, not problems. This topic, like the first topic, you will have to be sensitive to your staff. To achieve a positive outcome, be tactful. being tactful will be crucial. As a new manager, you must be clear and honest regarding your intentions and expectations. Integrity will be key to make your new staff feel comfortable with you and any new ideas of change. Rather than telling your staff what they are doing wrong, tell them what they are doing right. Utilizing this approach will validate your staff's concerns and allow them to, allow them to feel like their opinions matter. Adjustment. When entering the role of manager, you will be assuming a direct leadership position. This new title brings a large set of responsibilities, responsibilities that you may not be used to. This can take some time to adjust to. During this adjustment period, you should focus on goals and intentions with your new staff. It is important to address this right away with an open two-way conversation. This will give you time to talk with your new staff but also give your staff time to converse back to you in a professional manager, in a professional manner. Again, going back to our previous slides, this will also help build that working relationship. Be sure to be understanding and, and empathetic. New management can be difficult, not only for you, but also your staff. Be tactful and professional when presenting any possible changes. Keep conversations casual and comfortable, yet professional. Be a transformational leader, not an authoritarian leader. Observe your staff. Silently observe your staff. This will give you the opportunity to be on the ground level to observe how your staff operates. Skipping this step could significantly increase the risk of developing a resistance to change. If staff see you, the manager, doing this, this will create a positive feeling amongst your staff members because it will make them feel like they have a caring and trustworthy new manager because you are taking the time to learn how things are currently running. This will also give you the opportunity to give ex specific examples of what is being seen rather than opinion-based decisions. Having real-life examples of strengths and weaknesses in your staff will help reduce your staff's questioning your decisions. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries with your staff will be important to ensure long-term success as a manager. This will give you the opportunity to express expectations, demonstrate appropriate com communication, as well as set limits. This will be important to implement as soon as you can. Setting these boundaries and limits may be difficult to begin in the beginning, but if you don't address this right away, this could spiral out of control. Addressing staff concerns. This topic will be 
important addressing this topic will be important addressed in a sensitive manner to achieve a positive outcome being tactful and professional will be critical do not disregard any staff concerns this will make your staff feel invalidated always address comments and concerns very seriously utilizing this approach will validate your staff as well as give you the opportunity to educate them on what you plan on how you plan on addressing their problem dealing with conflict whenever dealing with conflict your ultimate goal as a manager should always be conflict resolution to achieve it will will be important for you to assume to achieve that it will be important for you to never assume you know what is happening during a conflict this may be difficult because we naturally make assumptions these assumptions can affect your perceptions which can make you make poor decisions decisions that can be based on biases it is therefore important to look at every situation from multiple perspectives it will be important to maintain a neutral tone and maintain um, and remain emotionally neutral this will demonstrate good emotional intelligence and less bias it will be important when dealing with conflict to present your information from your point of view rather than blaming the person so using i statements instead of you is important although the intention may not be to blame you statements generally blame someone else which can result in defensiveness to apply assertive communication it will be important to find a balance between being aggressive and passive never should your staff an example of this is you should have done this this is not appropriate and a better way would be i would really appreciate it if you could do this oftentimes using the wood using sh would should in this manner result in guilt or fuels anger it is a loaded word with negative connotations so it should be avoided at all costs in conflict resolution budgets developing a budget can be every manager's most difficult responsibility if you feel like you lack in this area it will be important to seek out assistance and advisory to be successful it will be important to stay organized you can do this by developing worksheets or charts it may it may take a few years to find out what works best for you but once you have figured that out it will be important to stay consistent within those methods it will also be imperative to use statistical data if you struggle with this it might be valuable to pull out those old statistics work statistics books from college and review a few key chapters lastly you will need a standard audit system this will help you monitor variances and explain their causes you will need to find out what required forms your facility uses for appropriate documentation to keep track of expenditures to ensure thorough control over your financial resources usually as a department manager you will carry out periodic partial audits during the fiscal year while internal and external auditors will carry out a full audit at least once during the year find slash develop middle managers middle managers play a vital role between line and staff employees finding yourself a middle manager will help you facilitate information diffusion one of the most important and effective strategies used is their ability to communicate information from line staff line to staff employees in the most effective and efficient manner this ability helps maximize your staff's productivity and ensure they are meeting their goals you set forth for them this person person should be someone you trust who is also a who has a significant amount of experience the success of your middle manager also depends on their ability to convey information to your staff in a casual and informal manner lastly be a change agent maintain a clear vision stay patient yet persistent 
lead by example, be knowledgeable, build strong relationships based on trust and integrity, be tactful, focus on strengths and goals rather than weaknesses and problems, set boundaries and limits, and lastly, use assertive communication. And this is my reference. Thank you for listening, and have a good rest of the night.